Okay. Next day recording. Uh, so I think one of the main things I want to look at is the, uh, the northeast corridor there, because I feel like I've discovered most of the things here. <laughs> Uh, but one of the main things I haven't been to is Crow's office. Uh, I think that's actually the only room I haven't really been to. Let's look at the secrets. There's some secrets here and there, but for the most part, I think that's the only one I actually have to, uh, deal with. Yeah. I'm sure secrets are good, but yeah, I'm going to make my way to the Crow's, um, uh, yeah, Crow's office, that area, and then, uh, see what I can see. Huh. Curious what that symbol is. Like st stink lines coming off of something? <laughs> Probably not. Ooh, we get to ride this. Yeah! Woo! Party! Hey, there's still enemies here. That's almost comforting. Ugh. Root Saturday. I'm not sure what the days of the week mean just yet. Whoa, hello. What the hell is this? It's a wooden model. Top of it looks like it's supposed to be grass? The bottom layer looks more like soil or rocks. Oh, so it's showing, um... Yeah, I'm guessing it's saying that these things are, like, suspending the area above, or at least they're coming up from below? Central underground area. Map. Wait, what? What other map? Oh. Okay, so I'm guessing that place right there, yeah, where the crow is, it's going to come to that central area. Uh, and then from there, we'll have to figure stuff out. I'm not quite sure what, though. Hello. Okay, and then the final root area. I really hope this is some way to... Oh yeah, this looks like a place. I was going to say depower the door. The handwritten letter. Hey Ed, did you get my rock shipment? Why don't you answer the phone? What's going on over there? Marv. There's a sign. Calibration Route 01, Sunday, preserved for posterity. Huh, that's confusing. Take the med kit. I think it's a generator. It looks ancient. I wonder what it's powering. Turn it off. Actually, I have no idea how to turn it off. It looks fragile, though. Maybe I can just destroy it. Do I have any, uh... <laughs> I don't have any handgun bullets, so... Eat lead. Hello? Nice try. <laughs> I saw the duck. Oh, hello. You're a little more concerning. Actually, let's huck a grenade. And are you going to be able to, like... Yeah, okay. Cool. Okay, let's check it out. Crow's room. Crow's office. Locked. It's a golden key hole. Thankfully, I have a golden key. Go. I have no idea what to expect. Is he just going to be chilling in his office? Seems wrong, but could be. This also looks like a place for a boss fight. With that. <laughs> it's ringing. Hello? You're still alive. I know it's dangerous up there. A lot of them got out into the open. But I know you brought a gun. Have you been killing them? The guests? They're in no shape to continue living. The ones that emerged re more recently, even more so. As I continued the root excavation, the guests became even less. Well, some of them are even bipedal anymore. It goes without saying that we cannot let them leave Crow Country. We cannot afford to let them infect anybody else. What are they? Who are they? They are irreversible. He's gone. The television. Every few moments something flashes up on the screen. I wish it wouldn't. I'm green. 
Photograph. Gorgeous. Something strange about the frame. Pull it. Yep. Reveals area behind. Okay, that was less creepy than I was expecting. What's that? Box of shotgun shells. Just pills in the corner? Uh, things aren't going well up on Crow Country, I guess. Emory University. In recognition of the completion of the prescribed course of study, Edward L. Crow has been admitted to degree of biochemistry. Ooh, biochemist. Those are always dodgy. Hey, Ed. We didn't pass the inspection. They figured out what the ore is home that the ore is homemade. The Brazilian authorities want to know where the gold is really coming from. This is getting too dangerous. I'm coming back to Georgia. See you soon, Merv. What's this? It's an electric panel. Control room. No unauthorized entry. Press the button. Just like that. Okay, let's run this thing too, even though I pretty much don't want to do it. Ah, press left. So it's a uh, file number seven. The guest. Merge it around 50% root excavation. It varies from specimen to specimen, but they largely remain a human-like appearance. Most distressing, they are capable of a limited non-verbal form of vocalization. Ugh. Goblin. <laughs> Merge around 55%. Despite their small stature, they have clear that they are not infants. On their contrary, they may be senior variant of the guests. Their advanced age cause a weaker genetic makeup, which has diminished their anatomy upon emergence. That's why those ones just died. Spindle, 60%. Much of their muscle and fat is missing, but their bones have become elongated. However, the bone mass is spread more thinly, and consequently, the bones are brittle. Additionally, without sufficient flesh as cushioning, their joints are weak. The lumberer, 60%. The same time as the spindle. Here, the opposite form can be observed, as the lumbers are stiff and stout with excessive muscle and fat. Perhaps this is the claim that the spindles have insufficient flesh? Oh, this is the big dudes. Right. The puddle. <laughs> 80%. Apparently this is my final entry for I cannot imagine how anything beyond this point would be capable of emergence. The puddles experience widespread cell necrosis. They are quite literally melting. Cool. Alright, let's go check out uh, the side room. Oh, it's moving! I don't... I don't like that. Look how it's got like stars set up behind it in a campfire. It's squirming back and forth. Is it alive? I can save. Do I want to save here? This seems like a bad thing. Small notebook. Diary of Edward Crow, age ten and a half. I ooh Saturday, a date. I am excited. Tomorrow, father and I are going camping in the Condor Country over the river. My father says it's just a nickname, as there are no condors in Georgia. I am looking forward to the trip, none the nonetheless. I love being outdoors at night. Sunday, Father and I find something strange while camping, a green shiny thing sticking out of the ground. It is wriggling back and forth like a little bug, but Father says it's not a bug as it is made of metal. Monday, we found a second wriggling metal thing a couple hundred feet south of the first one. Father wanted to know what it is uh, made of. He cut off the tip with his camping knife. Inside is a different metal. It looks like gold. Tuesday, two more shiny things. Four in total. Father says there may be more. Wednesday, Father brought Condor Country. Bought Condo Country as well as a couple of acres on the other side. He said we could rename it if we wish. There's just pills and blood in the corner. Video game tips, yeah. We don't need that. It, we'll take the med kit though. This is going to be a collection of notes. Yeah. What's that? Oh, ball contain antidote. I was more confused about the nine, two, one. Oh my God! There's somebody in the room. Oh, that freaked me out. <laughs> uh, 9218 also is probably something. That code. Uh, I actually just didn't even notice that there's just uh, pills everywhere. Hi, Natalie. How are you feeling? Not great. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> is it your mother? Yes. She died some time ago. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful statue. It's solid gold. Yeah, it must have been very expensive. Your dad really sp spared no expense. Spared no expense? I guess. Did you find him yet, Mr. Crow? No, not yet. Still looking for your father, but I have a pretty good idea where he is. I just need to take the central elevator. Mara, what are you going to do when you find him? I need to talk with him. Are you going to kill him? What? No, of course not. Don't think I don't see that gun in your hand. I see it in your face, too. Uh, you've already made up your mind. Natalie, I know he's done bad things, very bad things. Perhaps he's beyond forgiveness, but please, don't kill him. Bring him to me, okay? Let me speak to him. One way or another, today might be my last chance. Please, Mara. Okay. 
Yeah, I was never gonna kill him. <laughs> maybe I should have, I don't know. Maybe maybe he deserves it. Can I actually use these uh I mean med kits? I'll take just one. Can I take more than one? Leave the rest. Somebody else must need them. Come on! Full of trash. Yeah. Alright, let's go into uh control room. See what's up. Huh. It's a parking lot. It's a monitor. You need freedom from a security camera. Wait a second, that's my car. Looks like Arthur is still inside. Talk to him. Arthur, can you hear me? Mara, is that you? I can't see you. Where are you? I'm in a control room. A control room? Is it cool? Yeah, it's really cool. I'm jealous. You got to go on a real adventure. Arthur, how are you feeling? Uh, not great. Just stay there, okay? Mara, are you coming back? Are we going to leave? Yes. Sure, yeah, I'll be back soon. Okay, good. It says keypad. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to remember that. Okay. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> the monitor. Video from a security camera. Showing something on the screen moving. Talk to it. <laughs> Hello? What are you? What do you want? Didn't respond. Metal panel. The very power grid. Five little lights. One of the lights is red. The other four are green. Okay. And then this is incinerator? It looks like. Last but not least. Thirteen. Press it. The screen. Uh, four. <laughs> that's confusing too. Uh, but yeah, let's go get that code that's written on the wall over here and put it into that keypad. Uh, nine two one eight. Yay! Cabin open. There's a lever inside. Yank it. Oh god, that left. Where did it go? There's nothing there. Oh god! <laughs> that startled me. Do I not have any bullets for this? I do, okay. Okay. it! Okay. Oh. I got an achievement for defeating all the optional mini-bosses. Can I get in here? <laughs> that startled me. I... Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. 255. I don't know what that's about. Is that floor panel code to 123456? Is that this thing? Oh, oh, they have the dice numbers. Okay. Or... Yay! Okay, cool. <laughs> Gonna get shot at again. Okay, let's go. I have no idea what to expect down here. Could just be swarming with enemies, could be the plot, could be just the end of the game. I have no clue. Enemies it is. Oh. See some of these small little jerks. Okay, let's move up. Damn it. Damn it! It's too much! Gee, let's uh, huck a grenade. That seems like it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't as bad. Let's uh, pull out some handgun, kill these little jerks, because I want peace and quiet while I try to figure this out. Okay. <laughs> Think we're good? Think we're clear. Ooh, I don't have enough bullets for this. Did I get hit? I did get hit. It's okay. Switch! I'm guessing one on the other side. Yep. Uh, let's go handgun for now. Might regret that. Oh, it's a... Oh, don't like that. Oh god, it's Harrison. He's dead. Must have been attacked by those. Wait, no, he was shot. Harrison, I'm so sorry. Harrison James. ID number 05061. Date of birth, January 12, 1965. 
our arms expert. That's a large pipe. So I'm guessing those just go to the uh, side areas. I don't think I need those just yet, although getting more shotgun shells makes me want to do this. The bag. It's a grubby old sports bag. Looks familiar somehow. Look inside. There's something in there. Take it. Oh, bullets. It's a bag. Can I get more? Damn. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so this is what I think I need the numbers for. Mining lanterns are really old and need replacing. Any kind of spark tends to set them off, set off the oil that's trapped inside. If that happens, just give it a whack to disperse the oil. The flame should go out. So do I just shoot it? There we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna deal with it, that's fine. I don't love these vents. Oh, hello. Tolman, I can't let you, listen, Harrison is dead. Harrison James, the police detective. I know who he is. I'm sorry, Mara, you shouldn't have come here. It was only a matter of time before one of those creatures, he was shot with a gun. Shit, ah, do you know who did it? I have an idea. Oh, I think he's probably got a good idea. <laughs> Marvin, you... Look, kid, this is nothing personal, okay? Put down the gun, Trumbull. And then what, huh? Go home? Forget this whole thing ever happened? The feds won't be kicking down my door within the week. I'm culpable for all this shit. I know, I am too, but Myra is not, so leave her out of it. She knows way too much. You think she won't rat us out? Hell, she already tried. She was getting real chatty with that pretty boy officer. I tried to stop him from coming. I kept telling him to leave. Well, he didn't leave, did he? And neither did you. And now it's too lit. Huh? What was that? No idea. Bullshit, if this is some sort of trick, I ain't... <laughs> yeah. The person? Julie? Where am I? <laughs> uh, hi. Julie? Hey. What's going on? What are you doing in there? I'll tell you if you help me out of this thing. Oh, gosh, sorry. Help her out. Tolman, would you give me a hand? Can you just leave her in there? Are there uh, branching paths? Julie, I thought you'd been... I mean, I came out of the boat ride and you were gone. There was blood. Something grabbed me, dragged me backwards in into the vent. What was it? Whatever it was, there were several more of them hiding out in the pipes. It's pitch black in there, but I could hear them, smell them. And what? They tried to kill you? No, mostly they just shook me around. Made a bunch of noise. Shouting, weeping, moaning, whatever you'd call it. Sounds about right. Does that sound about right? That sounds pretty wrong to me. What do you mean? They're angry, but they don't want to kill us. They're trying to communicate. Uh-oh. Well, I've killed a bunch, haven't I? Uh, you haven't introduced me. Oh, right. Sorry. Julie, this is Tolman. He works for Edward Crow. And Tolman, this is Julie Barron. She's a lawyer. She was hired by the Marshall family. Elaine Marshall's family? I see. What are you two doing down here? Not really sure. Someone's been killed. Shot. A police officer. Goodness me. Tolman was here just about to deal with it, weren't you? I, I'll come with you. I have experience with this kind of thing. Good. Okay. Thanks. Mara. Something else. Natalie Crow is waiting in Edward Crow's office. Would you go see how she's doing? Crow's daughter? Of course. I'd love a chance to talk to her, actually. You're not... One last thing. Arthur Mole. He's out there. He's out in the staff parking area in my white fiesta. Uh, would you check on him, too? I've left him alone way too long. Of course. We can do that, too. Thank you. Uh, Mara, what are you going to do? I'm going to do what I came here to do. We'll be waiting by your car, okay? Okay. Thanks. Come along, Mr. Tolman. We've got lots to do. I don't actually know where to go. Or oh, is this just a door over here? Okay, it's a gate. <laughs> Held in place by two chains. Unhook it. Have to do the other one, too. Let's make it happen. Final showdown. Pool of water. Looks clean. Is this a spring? Don't wash your face. Unless I should. I don't know. Should I? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. 
<laughs> I don't know why. This could be bad. God, that feels bitter. I didn't know how realize how filthy I was. Okay. Seemingly fine. Descend. Oh, here we go. How deep is your love, Mara? This would be terrifying, by the way. I hate heights. Uh, and the idea of, like, there being no safety rail next to you. Phone. It's been left off the hook. I can't call him back. It's a set of photos. Photos taped on the wall. Look. Ellie Crow, Edward Crow's daughter, Tolman. Uh, the next is a photo of me. When did he take this? Julie Barron, Arthur Mole, teenager who wanted to photograph the guests. Marvin Trumbull, Douglas Pike, finally Harrison James. Wow. Set of vials. Five glass vials, each with the same pale green liquid inside. I don't know what they're for, I'll leave them alone. It's a shower. There's a lever. I don't want to touch it. Seems like a bad call. Piece of paper. Someone's written something here, but I can't make sense of it. It's nonsense. It makes sense of these. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, ringbound book. Oh, this is the regular memos. Okay. Medical cabinet. What's that? It's a large med kit. That's nice that I can't actually carry anymore. Bullets! Uh. Should I talk into it? Yes. Mr. Crow? I'm here. I'm in your lab. Hello, Elaine. Open the door. Wait, what? I will. But please pick up the glass vials I've laid out on the counter. Why? Why is she called the lane? Please. Fine. What is happening here? Whoa. Okay, it's just like a suit. Fine layer of dust. Guess he's not wearing it anymore. The microwave. Med kit. As you do. Sealed envelope for Natalie. I won't open it. Why is am I suddenly called the lane now? Must be where Crow had been sleeping. She's are stained with blood. Something weird's happening here. Okay, he's re killed the elevator. A relatively simple way to get up to the surface. Doesn't work anymore. Because someone's driven a fire axe through the control panel. <laughs> okay, grabbing the vials, I guess. I'm very confused. Take them. Free up some space. I'll put down the other objects I'm carrying. I won't need them. Ooh. I still have my guns. <laughs> took the vials. I left in their place all the other items I collected. These ID card I took from Harrison James, the bronze key, the crank handle, the ruby gemstone, the chain, the mask, the trident, the silver key, the data disc, the acid bottle, the golden key, and the battery. Good times. It was good times. Hey. Actually, wait. Nope, oh, not that. Uh, I can't remember the, like, button I need. Am I crazy? Not this one? Because I don't have, a uh, inventory anymore? Okay. Talk. Mr. Crow, I have the vials. Open the door. Stand back. Oh, cool access. Oh. 
Hello? Lane Marshall. Edward Crow. How long has it been? Two years? We've never met before. No, I mean since you became infected. Two years? Two years since I shut the part- Oh wait, Elaine Mar Marshall? The kid? I, I just clued that in. I'm glad you came back. Why would you give a shit? I would offer you a drink, but... <laughs> what are you now? 18? Not quite. And yet you made it all the way down here. You're clearly very stubborn. That's good. It gives me hope. Hope? Tell me, how are you feeling? Bad. Tired. They can't get rid of my infection. It's been getting worse. Of course. I must say I'm relieved to let they let you out of the hospital long enough to... They didn't. I escaped. I see. You really are determined. And all this because you want to kill me, I assume. No. I came because I want to tell you something, face to face. I need you to know. Go on. Mr. Crow, I'm going to die from this infection. We tried everything. Nothing works. It's going to kill me. <laughs> but I didn't realize you have it too. The same infection. Of course. Anyone who's been exposed to the guests will have it. Naturally, I was the first. The first guest emerged from the pool, I tried to help him. I put him in a holding cell, up on the ground level, so we could monitor him more easily. The holding cell? That's where I was attacked. Yes, bringing the guests up to the surface proves to be a mistake. But you, you look worse than I do. I am simply further along. My continued exposure to the guests has accelerated the process. Continued exposure. Your bloody escapade today may prove to have a similar effect for you. Oh god. It, it looks bad. What's it like when it gets that bad? I shall not lie to you. Lane, do you remember when your family asked me to pay your medical fees? Yeah, they're holding you accountable since I was injured in your park. But you never paid them. My lawyer is trying to take you to court over it. Yes, this was a deliberate decision on my part. Knowing the nature of your illness, I knew there could be no cure found at the hospital. Wait. But there is a cure. I made one. You? How? I had to reverse engineer it. I had been studying the highly infectious bacteria on the dead bodies of the guests. New kinds of bacteria that nobody knows about yet. That's been the problem. It's no surprise your doctors were stumped. Those vials. From your lab? Yes, you have the cure on your person at this very moment. Five vials, enough to cure five people. Five? Harrison and Marvin are dead. So that leaves you, me, Natalie, Tolman, Julie, and Arthur. That's six people. You didn't make enough vials. You're wrong there. I shall not be taking the cure. Seems about right. Can't move. Oh, I can move. Curious about this. But that's okay. We'll keep talking. You understand where we are right now. You call it the pool? Correct. And protruding from its depths, the seven roots. What's left of them, after years of you cutting them up, harvesting them for gold. Exactly right. Elaine, look at me. Listen. The pool is a gateway. And the guests are human beings who attempted to travel through it and emerged here. Why do they look so... Why are they so messed up? You have spent the last ten years dismantling the mechanism of that gateway. I don't understand. The pool still works, technically. But thanks to me, it is severely malfunctioning. You see, the roots are a kind of calibration antenna. Necessary to accurately and safely transport those who travel through the pool. Mr. Crow, where are they coming from? The guests. What's on the other side of the pool? That's interesting. You understand now how my excavations have been causing the mutations of the guests. Also understand the mutations have been getting worse, as I cut down more of the roots. The beings that emerge from the pool now, they barely resemble humans at all. Most of them cannot walk, let alone speak. That first guest who emerged from the pool all that time ago, he was the least mutated. No. Oh. Yes. Elaine, he could speak. Just barely. He told me who he was and why he had come. I wrote it down, word for word, on a little piece of paper. And then, went back to harvesting the roots. No subsequent guests were capable of speech. You may now understand why I'm choosing not to take the cure. My time is short. Before I die, I must look upon what I have wrought. You're going through the pool? Hold out your hand. What? Take it. Take it. Paper. Now that it is in your hands, I am going through the pool. You'll be mutated. It'll kill you. A fitting end. Perhaps, if I am lucky, I may get a glimpse of what lies on the other side. I have one more thing to ask of you, Elaine. If for any reason I re-emerge from the pool, I want you to kill me. But if I re-emerge, I will be in no shape to continue living. Do you understand? Goodbye, Elaine. I raise a glass to your future. It's gonna roll back. <laughs> there he is! Woo! Guessing now I get a proper fight. <laughs> they all sink in. Oh, interesting. 
I was curious why there's traps all around. I think I understand why. There it is. Oh. Yeah. Damn it. Ooh, infected. Come on. Oh. It's gonna happen regardless. Do you know what I should be doing? Uh, let's, um, yeah, that's already been triggered. Let's eat this. Let's equip the, the gun, the golden gun. Nope. Oops. Let's uh, heal up again, because I think I got a decent hit. Oh! Gonna hurt again. Oh, he's alive. Elaine, it's it's. Shut up. I don't want to know. Elaine, you, uh, you promised kill. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Deserves nothing less. Hopefully he's telling the truth. Staring into the flames. I feel something. It's a curious mixture of hope and dread. Maybe everything will be okay. And maybe it won't. Not bad. Not bad at all. Damn, that was a lot of fun. I really like this game. Yeah, that's expertly done. Um, I guess uh, I guess humanity is kind of saved because it looked like the portal, the like, you know, vines or whatever they are, uh, it went in. They were consumed, so the uh, portal as it is is uh, no longer valid. <laughs> so assuming all the guests have been killed, and the infection is no longer present, uh, humanity saved! Yay! <laughs> it's a bit of a happy ending. I'll say it's a happy ending. Nice. Very small team. Very fun game. SFB! <laughs> well done, everybody. Well done. Alrighty, complete the game. Love it. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you had a good time, and I hope to see you again next time. Have a good day. Bye. Wait. It's going to give me, like, a, a rating at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't die at any point. Hey! Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> it's a lot of heals. Bet you could blast through the games if you want. Oh, unlocked. Crowbar. Cronade launcher. <laughs> what? Okay, give me one second. I gotta check this out. <laughs> you unlocked Crow Quest. Crystal crows are hiding around. Can you find all and shoot them? Okay. <laughs> nice. This give me like uh, Resident Evil vibes where you can just reach... Keep replaying the game, getting new things. Bonus items. Break open balls and crates with ease. Oh! Exploding crow heads. Also has infinite ammo, so don't hold back. Can I not? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. Also, how do you, and then you just swing. Oh, that'd be so handy to have. That's so cool. Alrighty. Sounds good. That's going to be it. Have a good day.